Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Misa and I am an interior design enthusiast currently building a Texas Hill Modern in the Colorado mountains. So I'm going to be have a lot of videos of that coming up soon. But today I really want to talk about the top design trends for kitchens for 2022. So whether or not you're just curious about what the trends are, if you're building currently in the design process, just remodeling or not just remodeling, remodeling is a lot of work, or you just want to add some color, some vibes to your kitchen, then this video is for you. So let's go ahead and get started. Bold hues are going to be a big thing in 2022. We're talking about some neutrals, but with that integrating bold colors. So whether or not this is blue, we're seeing so many greens, so many greens, oranges, I know crazy, even browns, really bold browns. So we are going to see that a lot, apparently in 2022. Now you might see this more so in a butler pantry, maybe kind of get away with it. Or I really do feel like we've been seeing fun, playful island colors over the years. And now I really feel like we're starting to see different textures. And one of the main things is contrasting hues. So if you're going with a white oak, maybe you're using, I don't know, like iron ore, something green and sagey, something just really natural, kind of gives you that depth, but isn't super outlandish. For us in our kitchen, our main colors are white oak, iron ore, um, stone hearth by Benjamin Moore, and then white. So I actually am kind of wishing when I'm looking through these trend reports that I did something more like I could have done something a bit more richer for our island, but I do feel like we're going to have a lot going on with metals and just a lot of detail work. But I did incorporate grain into the laundry room. So I'm happy I was able to capitalize on that. Also our butler's pantry, completely retro. I added in this awesome floor. Yeah, that tile, it's amazing. And that's something you can do too. Instead of seeing horizontal shiplap, I feel like it's all about the vertical shiplap. In my pantry, I'm actually doing a whole a tile backsplash on the window side. And then all along behind the pantry, I'm doing a vertical shiplap in the paint of the cabinetry. And I feel like that's really going to create just a fun retro old space, but still sticking to the neutrals. A way that I like to contrast the hues is we're doing a the white shelving on the pantry side and then the stone hearth, which is like a beautiful creamy taupe color as the actual ship that was reported is unique ovens, which I don't feel like this is a new thing for 2022. I feel like for 2021, it's all about the French range, ranges that make a statement. We even have the KitchenAid, uh, what is it? They're white, they have gold hardware, absolutely beautiful, which I've heard the wait time for those is a, uh, it's like 10 or 11 months. It's a really long time. And so if you're, if, if you're building or if you're going to be moving in, you know, you better get on that. We personally love, I love a unique range. One of the cons is they're very expensive most of the time. But in my opinion, what you can do, since really some of these ranges, even though they're expensive, they can fit and cook a lot more at once. And so you could just put the extra money that you were going to put into a wall oven and put it into your range. That's something I wish we did. We actually went with the Janair, the Rise Edition, which is a, such a beautiful, beautiful oven range. It is it has the contrasting hues. Are you all about the pretty oven trend? I think it's timeless. It's absolutely amazing, so unique. Gone are the days of boring ovens. Like there are so many options, green, black, white, um, terracotta, the list goes on and on. Next trend is unique cabinets. Now there is something to say about custom cabinetry or even just adding in some different elements that you aren't really, that we haven't seen before. I am seeing so many tambour detailing that it just has my heart. There's something so sophisticated about the tambour sitting against some nice riffs on white oak that truly gets me. A lot of these unique cabinet features are, they're not only for storage solutions, so they're not only to make your kitchen more organized and more cohesive, to, it's to also display your beautiful items and for it to look organized. So gone are the days per se of just complete open shelving. Right now, 
looks like the trends are going for some closed cabinetry, some open shelving, and then also some details like a beautiful built-in, somewhat like a china cabinet. In our home, we did, we're did we doing a beautiful built-in white oak. There will be glass and then a metal detail. And in that, I'm going to be storing all of like the beautiful dishes that we have, the cookware, the bakeware. I feel like in today's day and age, we wanna display that. So that's a great option as well. All of the different trims, you can do this in a linen closet. There's just so many options to built-ins than just like a traditional cabinet, shaker style cabinet. We've all known that drawers are such a key in, an, in a kitchen, but there's just so many storage and organization trends going on that are being built into a kitchen. It's really fun to see whether or not it's just a single wine room that you walk off to, sculleries, are going to be seeing more and more of this in 2022. So if you're kind of looking for some fun storage solutions, definitely look on Pinterest because there are a lot of ideas out there. I am so excited for 2022 is bold countertops. We are hopefully going to see a lot of cool colors, browns, gold, I even say green. I've never seen a green countertop, more soapstone. We wanna see more veining. We wanna see more detail. I love Stella Jane's kitchen. I'll put it right here because it's the surfaces are just so vibrant, so crazy, but it's it just resonates with me so much. I I feel like we see a lot of white veined look like marble or marble countertops and there's nothing wrong with that, especially if you are going with a more bold design in itself to kind of mute things down and it's um it's you know cost effective. These bolder slabs are ex Expensive. They are expensive. So I think we'll see seeing a lot of them on Instagram. For us personally, by the time we got to this point, I had always envisioned that we'd have a really cool different slabs in every single room. But what ended up happening is from the moment that we were actually bid out, from the moment we actually are here choosing out our countertops, it's gone up so high in price. So it's completely out of what was budgeted for us. And so we went with a price per square foot beautiful veining, not as bold as I would like, but that's what we're gonna be doing throughout the entire house. And I'll have that link down below if you're interested in that exact slab. And that's gonna be happening in just a couple months. We're, I don't know, we're supposed to be like two and a half months of moving in. So keep that in mind. Last couple things, organic. We are seeing so much organic textures, concrete, light browns, travertine, which I'm honestly shocked would come back in style, it's uh, it's it's here. It's absolutely insane. I remember when travertine was huge and now not necessarily having it on the floors, but having it as a counter is incredibly popular, especially in California. It was very like, it's a very spa-like retreat. We're seeing more things like that. And travertine is also very durable. And then another thing I never thought we'd be seeing quite come back, but deeper, rich, wood tones. Now I'm all about, I love white oak, especially white oak flooring. It's such a timeless uh, look. It hides dirt and wears really well. We're seeing more of these richer, deep wood tones, not necessarily on the ground, but we're going to be seeing it as not necessarily with flooring, but we're going to be seeing it more so with built-ins, furniture pieces, and design elements with um, decor, things like that. Because whew, I'm going to put in a couple inspo pictures. There are some absolutely gorgeous. There's nothing more gorgeous than a dark wood piece of furniture or built in amongst gold fixtures, a brushed bronze gold fixture. There's just nothing like that. It looks super sophisticated and brown actually really plays well with black, white oak, cream, all kinds of colors, but it's back. How do you guys feel about that? So those are the kitchen design trends of 2022. What do you think? Are you going to be implementing any of these into your home? Let me know. I would love to know. Don't forget to subscribe. More content coming soon. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.